Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video that a lot of you requested me to do, is how I curl my shorter hair. Um, so I am ready to do that for you, but I decided I was just gonna chat with you guys. There's a few things that I wanted to fill you in on and um, one announcement that I so the first thing is I did just shower shampooed conditioned my hair and then I used the leave-in conditioner that I got in my fab fit fun box um, which I later learned is by the Kardashians hairstylist um, so I don't know but I like the leave-in conditioner um, after that I blow dried my hair because I do have curly wavy hair um, and I use a, like, my hair is in this brush. I am not a professional. Um, I use, like, a paddle brush like this to um, blow dry my whole head. Then I pull up half of it, and this part of my hair right here is too short to really curl. So I take a straightening iron, and I do the underneath straightened, okay? So that's been done. Then the next thing I do is I take just a little hairspray and I just do a light little mist over my whole head um, before I clip it up, which is how it is. Um, and I feel like that helps the curl last and hold better. But one thing I do want to tell you guys that I've learned through the years is that curls look differently on different types of hair. So if I have like wavy, coarse, kind of almost curly hair my curls are going to look different than if you're somebody who has super straight hair naturally so keep that in mind um but then after that this is the trick right here that i've been doing and it's a really severe side part so basically from like the top of the arch of your eyebrow take a brush or a comb and go like back and then pull hair forward now it takes it's hard for you guys to see because my hair is dark, but it's a pretty far side part. So um, pull that over, okay? And then you're going to want to clip up your hair so that you can pull sections. Um, the curling iron I use is the Infinity Pro Con Air Wand. I think this is the one inch. I used to have a bigger one when my hair was longer, but I did just get this one at Target a few months ago around Christmas time because with shorter hair, I did need a smaller wand. So um, I'll link one for you guys that's similar to this, but this is the one that I got. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So the way that I do it is I pull my hair down in sections one at a time. So I'm gonna take down just like I don't know a handful right here um, and then I just clip up the rest and then I kind of brush it out and then I divide it into I would say one inch sections and then I take my curling iron angled down and I wrap it not tightly kind of loosely around and I hold the end out so that it's not fully wrapped. So I wrapped it twice. Now, as I hold it, I kind of move it in and back and forth, kind of like this. And then I pull it up and I let the curl fall and I don't touch it. And then I'm gonna do the next piece. Now, one thing that I wanna say is that if it's not curling the way you want it, then maybe the section is too big. So again, point it down and I make it my hair like if you can see, I make it tight on the iron, like tension on the curling iron. And I move it in and out and hold it, keeping it tightly on there. And then I pull the iron out. Okay, so you can see the kind of curl that that gives. And then I alternate sides. So I did a little here. So now I'm going to pull some down here on this side. Now I leave the front for last because in my opinion, that is the most important part. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more down here and then I'm gonna twist up the rest. And then again, I'm gonna comb it out and then I'm gonna start closest to my face with a one inch section. Angle the curling iron down, not all the way at the root, about halfway and wrap the hair, okay, and hold it. And again, I move it in and out, 
holding it for about 20 to 30 seconds. I really don't like to see my hair start steaming. <laughs> but, um, and then I just pull the curling iron up and I'll take it to Mars, oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind. Just watch me break in your sweet. You're falling into me, touch me. Okay, so you're gonna notice this crazy clip. I've got basically the whole under layer curled now, and that's why I have like I mean, this is how I do my hair. It's not professional. But you can see kind of the section that I've got here. So once I have this, then this is where I take really small pieces, okay? So I'm gonna start on the side, one inch sections, and I'm gonna twist my hair the opposite way, okay? And then I'm gonna curl it the same way, but this, now I am gonna take it all the way to the root, and I'm gonna wrap it a little bit tighter because I like to have loose and tight curls, and you will see why. Um, when I'm done, but yeah, I'm if I'm looking to the side It's because I have a mirror behind the camera and I'm actually doing my hair for the day And so I do need to see so that gives it more of like a ringlet type curl when you take it all the way up So I'm gonna continue to do that. So the first thing I wanted to update you guys on is our Housing situation you may have seen in some recent day in the lives where I started packing up um, unfortunately, we have hit a speed bump and it is not looking like we are going to be moving this month in March. Um, so that's really all the detail I can give right now because we're still working it out. But um, I know people are going to be like, oh, did you move? Where's your new house? Are you going to do a tour? And so I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, we still should be moving in the spring, but we have hit a little bit of a hiccup and it's a bummer. So you guys can see I'm curling it all the way up. Now the ends though, look, okay, you're starting to see how it comes in. Okay, so I just wanted to update you guys on that. The next thing I wanted to update you guys on is uh, that I got a lot of requests to make another Grace and Grit homeschooling t-shirt. Um, people were saying like, oh, I would love to wear it to um, the homeschool convention and last time when I did the t-shirts if you were not around then I made a t-shirt when I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube to kind of celebrate and kind of Like say this is my community. These are my people like thank you guys so much. Let's all wear our shirts I created a hashtag on Instagram with your guys's help called grace and grit tribe so that I could like see your faces and see just like see the people because you guys see me, but I don't really see you. Um, and so see, I'm curling away from my head still back and tight. Um, and so anyways, I got a lot of messages when I made those shirts of people that follow me that are not homeschooling moms. And they were kind of sad that there was a, that the shirt said homeschool on it because they said, oh, I follow you because I love your hauls or I love your fitness advice. And um, I would love to support you because you encourage me a lot, but I don't homeschool. So I got, I had that in the back of my mind. And then also I was getting a lot of messages from you guys that were saying, can you make a new one? Can you make a new one? Because I was going to hold out until 20,000 on YouTube. Um, but that's looking like that might be a little while because YouTube is acting crazy. So I went ahead and made the shirt. I will insert some pictures uh, to show you guys. And um, this time I designed it with a saying on it that can be worn by anybody. Um, it says, you guys will see it, but grace and grit are needed to accomplish anything, any goal, any mission you have for your life, whether that be weight loss, whether that be financial, whether that be motherhood, whatever it is, we need his grace and we need some determination and some grit. So that's the meaning behind this shirt. It really is just to say, you know, we are one community here. I hope that I am still encouraging and helping you guys um, in whatever capacity I can, 
and why you follow me is for that reason. Um, so I would love it if you guys would support the shirt, wear them, hashtag it, the Grace and Grit Tribe. The t-shirts will be available only for 10 days. By the time you guys see this video, it might only be a week. So don't wait, click the links down below and you guys can order your shirts. And it goes without saying that I appreciate the support so, so much. Um, when you guys respond to things like this, it just always blows me away and it m reminds me of why I do what I do and why I put so much time into what I do here. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know about the t-shirts. I told Instagram first, so maybe you already heard, but if you don't follow over there or you don't have it, I wanted to let you guys know here. So those were really the two main things I wanted to talk about um, really quickly in the video. So now you can see that all the hair is curled and I have that super far over part. Now you do need to sometimes play with it because like this piece right here is kind of a little straight. So I'm gonna wind that back up and then, there we go. And then I'm going to take my hairspray at my roots and I'm gonna just use my hands and go give it a little spray, okay? And then I'm gonna do just a quick little mist under my hair like this. Now, when I curl my hair, I make it really big because it always falls. And then after that, I'm just going to gently loosen the curls like this, very professionally, like a little wiggle underneath there, kind of play with them, get them a little more natural looking, pull that piece over, and voila, your hair is curled. Um, I'm loving having shorter hair, and I hope that this helps some of you guys out there that wanted to see how I curl my hair. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video really, really soon. The links are down below. Get your shirts. Bye, guys. Just watch me pray.